Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. You know, I've done a few videos on this uh, Generarc uh, Home Power One unit, and uh, I've now used it for about two months. And I use this thing pretty much every day. In fact, I would say I don't think I've missed a day when I haven't used this unit since I got it. Uh, very impressed with it, and I wanted to go over. I've already talked about how it can be used for recharging all kinds of gadgets, running power tools, it'll run a microwave, it'll run a swamp cooler, it'll re even run a 5000 BTU uh, AC window unit if you want to. <clears throat> but I've got a lot of, uh, a few new uh, appliances uh, that I wanted to get. And it's important to remember that these units, because it's only a thousand watt inverter, you need appliances that will work under a thousand watts. Some home appliances, they don't design them to be efficient. And so they may use more watts than what the Generac would use. So you may also want to consider getting some other smaller appliances to go with this unit. If you're going to be using it a lot or you want it for an emergency backup system for your power, if your power goes out, winter's coming on folks. And we always have lots of power outages when winter is here. And also great, these appliances can be used for uh, camping. Uh, and if you're an off-gridder like me, you use them a lot. I use mine uh, all the time. And so I, let me just go briefly over the features of this because I've talked about it in other videos. Uh, but I'm also going to talk about uh, Generarc is running a fantastic contest uh, and is giving away up to $6,000 worth of prizes, including a Home Power 1, a Home Power 2, solar panels, and uh, uh, equipment like that. Uh, and so at the end of the video, I will post the information and in the link uh, to the information to the video. I will give you the information so you can enter the contest. Uh, and it includes uh, a way for you to actually uh, help me out too, because if you watch my videos, it gives you an entry into the contest. So stay, stay to the end for that. I'll try to not make this video too long. All right. This is the Generarc Home Power One unit. It has a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, with up to 2,000 watt surge, and it will actually handle that amount of power. I ran my microwave and other items that take over, just a little bit over 1,000 watts, and it would still handle them and wouldn't kick off. But you should remember that it's designed for appliances that are under 1,000 watts. It has three AC outlets, each of them grounded on the front. I like the way that they have separated these out, so if you're using those uh, dongle plugs that have the, you know, the, the wart that sits on front of them, it gives you enough room that you can still plug in three appliances. These are 110 volt outlets here. It has the uh, cigarette plug, which I'll show you. I use a lot, uh, especially if you're off grid or you're camping. This this is easier to use and and uh, better because you're not wasting power on running the inverter that's built into this unit. You're going direct DC to some appliances. So it has that. It has uh, two USB ports, uh, a USB C port, and a quick charge 3.0 port on it. It also this can be charged either from the uh, the transformer that they send with it, uh, and this is a quick transformer. It transform it uh, powers up at 145 watts, right around there, and so it will charge this up generally in six to eight hours, somewhere between there. But uh, it depends on what what your power source is, uh, and generally, I think about eight hours for recharging from uh, from completely dead. Uh, using this at, or six hours and then eight hours if you're charging off solar. This can also be charged off solar and the uh, General Art Company also sells solar panels or you can use your own solar panels up to 200 watts. You can charge this quite fast off of the solar panels. Uh, with the Generarc panels, they come with the plugs already designed for this system. Otherwise, you might have to get some additional plugs. All right. It also has the, uh, and I don't think you're going to be able to see this on here, but it has the uh, uh, readout with the uh, battery level and right now it says I'm at 44 percent because I've been using this now how I use this is I usually recharge because I'm off grid uh, my system is only 400 watts and you know you've seen that on my other videos if you watched any of them and so generally what I do is when the sun is shining and my batteries for my off-grid system are already filled then what I do is I plug this in and recharge it up and I usually charge it somewhere up to around 80 percent it's a good idea not to overcharge them because you'll actually shorten the life on these units. You'll get a lot more years out of them if you charge them somewhere between 80 and 25%. And just remember to recharge them when they're, when they're at that level. Now, if you're going camping or something like that and you need it for a couple of days, go ahead and charge it up to 100%. It's not, gonna, not going to hurt the unit. It's just for everyday regular use, use, it's a good idea to keep it between 80 and 25%. So I recharge this off of my 400-watt system when my regular batteries are already full. 
and I've got excess power, then I charge up this unit. And generally, for a couple, in a couple hours, it recharges in enough, enough for a week's worth of, of what I'm using in power from this unit. So I usually only have to charge it up once a week or, you know, uh, e even less than that sometimes. So it comes with this and it can be charged from a solar panel. So let's get into what I wanted to really talk about on this unit and the ways to use it. Let me slide it out of the way so I get a little room here. Okay, one of my main uses of this, and it may seem kind of funny to some of you, is that I use it for toast. Okay, uh, because I like toast in the morning with my oatmeal, or I like a bagel and uh, uh, butter or sour cream on my bagel uh, to have with my oatmeal in the morning. And a lot of times the sun isn't up by the time I, because a lot of times I'm up by 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning to do chores, and so I use my toaster oven two two wide slot toaster oven and I plug that in to this unit and I'll show you this works just fine here okay you plug it in like so and make sure that the AC button is turned on for this unit and then you can just put your toast in and you can hear the fan running on this it will run the fan while it's doing it and it says that this is taking seven right around 710 watts okay taking seven 710 watts however in order to uh, fixed toast or a bagel or something like that in this toaster, it takes about five minutes is all. In fact, probably even less than that to, to heat up a bagel or, or toast or something like that. So it's not using very much power. In fact, I can run this and fix me some toast and it only uses about 5% of the power from the battery. So I can run this for a very long time to cook toast. Okay, that's my main use for, that I've had over this unit for this unit lately. However, I've got some new appliances that I'm going to show you here because I'm also going to start using them more. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, other cooking appliances that we'll talk about here first. This is the Dash. And uh, this comes very well rated, highly reviewed uh, as a, uh, it is a toaster oven. Uh, unlike the toaster, which works great for bread and stuff like that, that won't cook up like a, uh, you know, burritos or, you know, reheat leftovers or something like that. So that's why I got this unit. This has the uh, opening in here, and it's I, I think it's probably about seven inches wide and about six inches or five inches high. It's big enough that you can put a couple of those frozen burritos in it or one of those uh, microwave pizzas or something like that in it, or you can use it for any other use like toasting. I've made toast with the, this unit as well. And this unit, why I like it is it's designed uh, for low watt use. It's only 500 watts. Okay, so let me plug this in here. And we'll uh, turn it on. It's got a little uh, dial down here. So you can see it come on. It's got a timer dial that will turn off. So you can set it up to high for if you're cooking burritos or something like that, or on low if you're doing toast or something like that. And it says that this unit, and this is important, it says that this unit is using 494 watts. Now, some appliances that I've got, one that I will show you here, even though they claim they're low watt, a lot of times they're more watts than what they actually say they are. So you want to make sure that you're keeping it under the 1,000 watts. But these 500 watt appliances like this will only use about 5% of the battery to run it for 5 minutes. So that's easy to remember, 555, five, five, okay? So this is great for heating up leftovers, and it gets warm fast. That's the great thing about cooking with electric, is it heats up really fast, faster than natural gas or propane even. So you're cooking a lot faster, and it heats up everything thoroughly. Now, this isn't a microwave, it is, and it isn't a convection oven. It is a toaster oven, so you need to just understand how those work. But this thing works great for heating up leftovers, for heating up burritos and stuff like that. I can stick those in here for five minutes while I'm doing other stuff. The timer kicks off. You can see it turning red. See how the elements inside it are turning red? And it's using 495 watts. So this actually uses less power than that toaster I showed you down there. Works really great. I really like this unit. So let's turn this off. Make sure I turn it the right direction. It's got a, be a bell thing on it for the toaster oven. And because this is real small, this would be great to take along when you're camping, uh, in your camper, or even if you're in a tent and you've got your Generac unit, you could use this for cooking and heating a meal, okay? Excellent idea. And also for emergency power blackouts, one of these would be great because you can always hook, uh, cook the stuff that, you know, your big fridge might not have power, so you're going to have to cook up some food, or you just want to cook up a meal or something like that in the blackout. This would be an excellent product to have. Again, that is, I have to look at it. Um, I know I said it on it. Dash. Uh, this is made by Dash. A uh, really good unit. And uh, again, on Amazon, I will put the links for this equipment in the uh, information if you want to go looking for it. So those two appliances, my toaster and the toaster oven, 
uh, I will use all the time off this because it's it uses very little power and quick to to heat up a meal uh, from electricity from my free solar uh, energy. Uh, the other things, <clears throat> this little burner unit. And I don't remember who this was made by, and I'm not sure that I would recommend this unit. It does work. However, I found out that even though it says it's 500 to 1,000 watts, it comes on at 1,000 watts, and the dial on it does not seem to work correctly. However, I will plug it in. And what this is, you, you've probably all seen these. This is just a single burner electric burner. Uh, I think it was like, you know, it wasn't very expensive a unit, and it, I don't trust their... Uh, what they say about how many watts it uses. However, it will run off of this unit. You put it in and turn it all the way up to five. Unit comes on, but it says that this is using a little, just a little, it's using 1,023, right around 1,023 watts. It heats up and this is great for if you're uh, heating up a pot of water or something like that, if you need hot water. Uh, this will this heats up fast because it's electric. It gets very warm very fast. You can heat up water, or you can heat up, or you could use a small skillet and you could cook a meal on top of something like this. I'm not recommending this brand simply because it does it comes on and stays on at a thousand watts instead of the 500 to a thousand watts that it claims in the advertising. Uh, I will put the link in it if you want to go look at one like this. However, I would recommend maybe a different model that is actually uh, does what it says it will do. But these little units, it's really hot right now. I can tell you. I could, I could and put my hand down on the burn. Heats up very fast. So we're going to unplug that now. We'll turn that down. Again, that runs just fine off of the Generarc. I'll set that down because it's hot now. Now, we're going to get to heating, okay? If you can cook with the Generarc, then you can also heat with the Generarc because it basically uses the same thing. Now, this is a ceramic heater. Uh, it is 500 watts. Turn it around here. You're looking at, yeah, that's the front end. Uh, and it, it is 500 watts, uh, and uh, it ha this one has a thermostat in them. It came as a two-pack. I'll show this. Try to show this up front. You can see how the front is kind of concave, okay? And it has a ceramic heater in it, electric heat, 500 watt. And a lot of people were using these like in their teardrop trailers or campers or stuff like this. Now this is not going to heat up a big room. Okay, it's not designed for that, but it will heat you up uh, pretty fast right next to you. Okay, if you put it within two or three feet of you, it will heat you up, and so you can stay warm. And in an emer power emergency or a blackout or something like that, that's really what you need. You may have to to sacrifice some rooms. You may need to put this in like a bedroom and where you're just heating one small area uh, to keep people warm through a blackout if it's winter time. Okay, and these will this again will run off of this unit. Put this in here. And there it kicked on. We'll see what this goes up to on watts. Now it's saying that it is running at, it's jumping around quite a bit, but it's jumping, it's right around 580 watts. So it's a little bit higher than what it claimed that it would be, but not bad. It will still run off of this unit and it's not that much higher than what it was stated at. And this has a thermostat and tip over protection. So if you happen to bump this unit and tip it over, I'll show you what happens here. It'll cut off. Heater cut off immediately. Okay, flip it back up, and then you have to if you if you uh, set it off, if you tipped it or something like that, you have to turn it back on. Now this puts out a de very decent amount of heat. Okay, this is a really good uh, small heater for heating up a small space, uh, it, like a teardrop camper, or you know, in my off grid cabin, I just set it here right next to my bed. And it has a thermostat on it so you can set it so it will turn off it when it hits, hits the heat. And it will warm your legs and your feet up really nice, you know, and your body, depending on, you know, how close you set it. Puts out a good amount of heat. And it is operating. Now it's dropped down to right around under 500 watts. So it may heat up. It may use a few more watts when it first starts up. But then it drops down and holds that wattage at right around. It's, in fact, it's 440 watts because I don't have it turned up completely all the way. If I turned it up all the way, I'm sure it'd go to 500 watts. Okay, a very good amount of heat, and it has a blower fan in it, so it's blowing out the heat. This will heat up a small space, a, a bedroom or something like that, for you to make it through a power blackout so you would have some heat. Now, we'll turn that off. Uh, this is made, I'll have to look on it. This is made by Numifun, N-U-M-I-F-U-N. This is made by Numifun. 
and uh, I liked it because a lot of the other units did not have a thermostat in it. This has a thermostat. It is well constructed. It came in a two-pack. I'll put the information down there if you want to go look at one of these. Again, 500 watt ceramic heater. So we'll unplug this. And the other thing that I have used around my cabin a lot uh, in wintertime, you know, pretty much, uh, because a in order to reduce the amount of propane that I use or uh, having to start up a wood fire or something like that to heat my cabin, I use an electric blanket. And I really highly recommend that you get one of these. I use a 12 volt electric blanket uh, because they use very low power. Uh, they're great to have in your vehicles if you ever get stranded, you know what I mean. Uh, in order to stay warm until you you can flag somebody down and get some help you may save yourself and your children and your wife if you have one of these in your vehicles so this is the uh, 12 volt blanket now this is an off brand it actually doesn't even have a brand on it again i got this from walmart i will put the information in the links if you want to go looking for one this is uh, i have to unzip here this is a 12 volt uh electric blanket designed for use in vehicles so it has the 12 volt plug here and it can plug right into the Generarc 12 volt thing again you got to click on the DC and then you can see the light came on on here and this has this has a timer they usually have like a 10 or 15 minute timer or something like that this has a timer I click it on you can see the light comes on here and it can be either set for low medium or high okay and we'll put it on high and we'll just see how many watts it uses Again, 12 volt blanket, and it is using 60 watts. Okay, it is only using 60 watts on high. And on high, I can tell you this thing would get too hot for me to sleep under. I put it on medium, and that's plenty warm for me. And because it has a 15 minute timer, what happens is even if you fall asleep, you don't have to worry that this is going to stay on, run your battery down, or get too hot and burn somebody. After about 15 minutes, it shuts itself off. And you don't really need to, uh, the electric blanket on all the time. You need it to heat you up until you can get to sleep, and then you're usually fine for a couple of hours. If you start getting cold again, you just click the button again, and it comes back on for another 15 minutes and warms you up. I use these all the time uh, in winter here. I put it underneath my quilt, put one on top of me. When I'm ready to go to bed, I click this on for 15 minutes, and usually I don't even wake up again until morning. And then in morning time when I want to warm up because the cabin's just a little bit colder, you know how it is in the mornings, I click it for another 15 minutes, let that warm me up uh, before I get jump out of bed. And so it's really, they're really, really nice, these 12-volt blankets. Again, I will put the links to that in the information if you want to go looking for it. This uses 12-volt direct. On high, it's using a little under 60 watts. On medium, it was using about 40 watts. And on low, I think it uses about 30 watts, right around there. Okay, so you could uh, essentially use one of these electric blankets to keep you and your family warm in your house if the power goes out. You can wrap up in, in one of these or even a couple of them if you wanted to. Uh, and you can uh, get, get yourselves warm without having to warm up the whole house. And that may be the difference between you surviving a winter blackout and not. Because uh, a lot of the deaths that were caused in the uh, uh, Texas blackout were a result of people not being able to have heat in their homes. So if you had a Generarc unit like this and an electric blanket like this, you could survive through a long time. Because it, it, this, you know, off this Generarc using 60, 45 watts or 60 watts or something like that, 45 watts, it's, it's going to last three or four days or longer to keep you warm. And you can also cook meals with the other appliances and stuff that I show you. So the Generac unit could save your life is what I'm telling you here. I think that's the, my main purpose for showing you these units uh, because they are a backup power system for your homes in the event that you lose power. Now they also work great for off-gridders and campers, but the primary purpose of these is a backup power station to charge all your gadgets, cook a quick meal, heat yourselves up, and keep yourselves alive through a power emergency. This unit will do that. Now, unplug this. One more thing that I want to show you here uh, for people that were interested in heating water. Uh, if you don't have like the uh, the uh, hot plate unit that I showed you down here. You can also get these really inexpensively off of Amazon. And some of you maybe even have one of these around your house. It is basically a 12 volt uh, filament like used in a water heater, but a much smaller unit. Used, and you can stick this, it has a little clip on it. You can stick this into a cup or a pot of water and it heats up really fast. Usually within five minutes, you've got hot water uh, enough for a cup of coffee or a bowl of soup 
or you can use this, and I have done this many times, because your power is out at your home, your hot water heater is probably not working. You don't have any hot water to shower or take a bath. But what you can do is you can heat up a small amount of hot water with this, put it into a larger amount to, to balance out the temperature on it, and then use that for a sponge bath with a washcloth or a sponge. You can wash your kids' faces and butts off, you know, and keep them clean until the power comes back on. Also great for heating up water, small amounts of water if you need it for coffee or soup or something like that. This, again, works off of the Generarch uh dc plug and i'm not going to touch this thing because it be careful and don't let your kids mess around with this because this is an open element and it gets very hot so we'll see just how many watts it uses it says it uses right around let's see what it gets up to here it's using right around 114 watts right now 114 watts so that's a pretty good uh amount it's hot you can hear it. now you don't want to use i'm going to unplug this because you don't want to use these unless it is submerged in water because you can burn out the element okay so i unplugged it uh, and it should be in water when you plug it in, okay? And then unplug it and let it cool down a little bit before you take it out of water. Otherwise, you will burn these units out. So uh, you, I shouldn't have even ran it that way, but I wanted to show you how it works. And it, it uh, uses about 100 to 115 watts right around there. We'll heat up a, a small amount of water uh, for whatever use you want, whether it's for cooking, fixing a meal, or for washing your faces and your butts while you're camping, which is really nice to have some hot water. These little units work really good, and they're not very expensive on Amazon. So what I'm uh, showing you here is all is small appliances that you can uh, get to go with your Generarc uh, to use either in an emergency power situation or for camping would be really good, or if you're an off-gridder like me that just likes to use my free solar energy that I'm getting all the time, because in the daytime, I always have excess solar energy once my batteries are filled up, so I charge this up and then use it for running my small appliances uh, and stuff like that, or to take with me, this is also excellent, I take this with me all the time. If I'm outside working on tools, with, with tools like a power saw or a chainsaw or a weed eater or something like this, it's a lot more convenient for me to take this out in the field with me, plug my tools into this, and use it for using my tools. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, I'm going to give you the information uh, uh, for the GenerArc uh, contest that they are running right now. Hopefully, if you're watching this, the contest is still running. Uh, the contest, let me just click on this. Uh, the contest... I will read you what it says off the website here. Okay, from the website, it says this is a fall into power giveaway. Uh, and uh, they are, give, let's see what it says here. Uh, cooler temps are here to stay, which it means it's time to fall into power. Winter natural disasters and the hol holiday season are on the way. Fall into power for the whole family and get prepared now by entering to win one of five prizes over $6,000 in total. Uh, a new Generarc Home Power 2, that's the bigger unit that's designed for, it has like twice as much power and you can even add additional batteries to it, I think. Uh, for a real, you know, if you really want a unit that's going to last you, you know, sev several days or something like that, uh, they are a, a unit that would handle that, but they're not really designed to be portable. They're not designed to be taken camping. They're giving one of those away, that's the uh, Generarc Home Power 2. It's valued at $2,299. Uh, the first run runner up will receive a home power one. That's this unit here. Solar generator with two solar panels. So they're putting the two solar panels with the Gen Generac unit. Uh, that's a value of $1,897. Second prize runner up will receive a home power one backup power. So they're giving a third prize will be just the power unit without the solar panels. And, uh, fourth and fifth, fifth place, uh, will receive a $500 gift card to Generac. Uh, dot com. So you can put that towards the purchase of one of these units if you're in the fourth and fifth place. That's a pretty good uh, sizable prize right there. And the way you do it is you have to enter and then go through different uh, steps uh, that they show you on the website. And I'll put the information down there. Uh, one of the ways that you can do it is by watching videos like mine, liking them uh, from their uh, homepage. And if you do that, then you're automatically entered. As long as you fill in your information and entered, you're, you will be entered into so you can win the prize. So you're also helping me by watching my videos. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am very impressed with this unit. Used it for over two months now. Uh, it does everything that it's supposed to do. Works great and has been excellent for me here in my off-grid cabin. Have a great day, everybody.